Alright, what's up guys? I'm new to this YouTube fishing stuff. I didn't have a channel, got hacked, unfortunately. I'm back. I kinda wanted to make a new channel anyways. I didn't have like five subscribers. So I'm gonna try to get this one up and rolling. It's very big. I'm gonna post a lot of uh, videos in my first like that. It's gonna be freaking ridiculous. If you don't like it, don't subscribe. I don't like you anyways. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna start y'all out with my box of the day. You might have read it in the description. Box of the day is probably the most important thing that I pack besides water and snacks because I'm a fatty. Um, box of the day, I just throw it in my bag. It just stays there usually. I have like extra hooks in my other little thing that I have. Um, box of the day right here. Little Plano tackle box. It has one, one, two, three, four, five, six, six slots. Six baits or six kind of baits, whatever you want to say. This is it. Here we go. Um, this right here is a MEPS Comet. They're pretty easy to fish. Just tie it on or clip it on with the swivel. I don't like swivels personally. Just get that out of the way. And it's just going to be an action of this spinning around like that. That's about it. Nothing real to it. Just reel it, basically. Um, next are my all-time favorite baits, as you probably can see. About six of these in this one tackle box. I probably have about six of the same ones everywhere because I have them in different tackle boxes. I have tons of tackle boxes. Those are my rooster tails. <laughs> rooster tails, probably my all around fished baits because they're easy to fish and they really get you out of holes, to be honest with you. My next thing that I have are two swim baits. I did have four, but I lost them. Um, I don't know the names of these. If you do know the names of them, please, please, please comment the names of them. So that way I know for future references. If you do that, thank you. Next is my pumpkin jig. Swim jig, I should say. It's a booyah, I think. If I don't know, if I didn't say that right, or not say it right. If it's not a booyah, please comment below and tell me that it isn't. Don't holler at me, please. I don't like when people yell at me. I will be uh, putting this, damn it. I will be putting a straddle on it. You can hear it. In a, like five minutes or so. I might make a video on that. Probably not, though. Um, next is a spinnerbait. Spinnerbait, real easy to use, you know. Throw it on your line, cast it, reel it real kind of slow. Kind of, If you want to jerk it, you can jerk it. That sounded kind of wrong. <laughs> Next is a topwater hula popper. I have three hula poppers in total, and they're very cheap. Trust me, I got them at the dollar bin at Walmart. Freaking for a dollar. Um, I do have two jigs that I got there. They're rubber, so they're not great, but they do the trick. Caught like three bass on them in all day. Thing. I was fishing them all day. I kind of got boring of it. But, uh, yeah, they were pretty good. But on uh, other matters, this hula popper is a freaking boss, dude. I fish it all the time. I love the explosions I get on them because they kind of do rattle in the water. I don't know why. I guess it's this right here. Well, obviously it's that. But they're kind of light. Kind of need, like, a medium if you're going to throw them with a bait caster. I don't know what you're using. I always use a medium heavy, so it's kind of crap but this is what I'll be using for my top water this and mini torpedoes mini torpedoes is what I used to so um that's it from the box of the day I'll be making a ton more videos so subscribe please I'm just starting out so see you later